Hello my fellow investors and welcome back to another stock analysis video and today guys we're going to be taking a look at the third bank that is going to have earnings on Friday and that is the bank PNC so not one of the major ones but still fairly big I think there was one in the town that I grew up in but nonetheless though let's take a look at this company guys take a look at the fundamentals then do a book value and title book value valuation analysis to see if the current share price this is looking like a buy so with that said let's get started with this analysis so let's come over here guys into their past earnings you can see that they had earnings on the 18th of january so not on the same time as the other ones did it's kind of weird how they're having it at the same time now eps normalized actual came in at three dollars and 49 missed by 47 cents eps gap actual three dollars and 47 missed by 48 cents revenue 5.76 billion dollars which is beat by 57.61 million dollars now the one that is estimated for to on friday guys it is three dollars and 67 for the eps normalized three dollars and 68 for the eps gap and 5.62 billion dollars for the revenue estimate you can see that in the past 90 days there have been 11 revisions to the downside of pnc only one has been to the upside and on top of that you can see that they're expecting a lot higher than what they actually projected last year so let's come now into the calculator guys we got the ticker symbol for pnc market cap of almost 50 billion dollars and a pe of 8.83 with a current share price of 122 dollars and 31 cents by this pe alone this is telling me that this is looking like a pretty good buy and in fact taking a look at their one-year graph guys this is down on the one year 33.52 percent year to date it's probably down because of the whole yeah because of the whole silicon valley thing 23.33 percent that's incredible guys because well you take a look over here they were up to what 160 dollars 166 dollars back in february of just this year alone and not only that take a look at this 52 week range 119 dollars and 27 cents to 184 dollars and three cents this is near 52 week lows so yeah i just hope that now the fundamentals actually look fairly decent because i love 52 week low companies they're a great starting point to analyzing companies that might be well undervalued i guess you could say right now they do pay the dividend on top of this right of six dollars per year per share which is a yield of almost five percent this is insane pay a ratio of 41.13 five-year CAGR of 16 and a half percent 12 consecutive years of dividend payment all of this is sounding really really good x dividend date is actually coming up on the 17th of april okay so by the time you guys see this maybe this might help you to pull the trigger on this company because if you do then you will qualify for the dividend which gets paid out on may 5th 2023 and of course they do pay their dividends quarterly and on top of that guys based on the current shares outstanding they currently pay out almost 2.41 billion dollars in dividends every single year so let's jump into the fundamentals we got the net income five years ago of 5.3 billion dollars to today of six billion dollars increase of almost 14 percent and you can see that well the outlier year of 2020 did pronounce itself a lot in the net income guys going from 5.4 billion four years ago to 7.5 billion three years ago and then coming back down to somewhat reasonable kind of levels honestly two years ago to 5.67 billion dollars you can see 5.3 5.4 5.67 6 and, and then six again because this year is just duplicate so you can definitely see that just this one outlier year did not mean anything and we did come back to normal levels the following year so for this reason i'm going to give this an 80 percent looking now into the total revenue this one is looking similar however for some reason the total revenue three years ago actually came down and not up five years ago of 15.78 billion dollars to today of 20.64 billion dollars increase of 31 percent and again really nice consistent increase Increase from five to four and then a bit of a jump from four to two assuming that you remove this outlier year of three years ago and then a nice a billion dollar increase from two to one overall guys i'm gonna give this an 80 percent looking now at the shares outstanding this is looking absolutely amazing every single year they have bought back and without missing a beat 
457 million shares five years ago to 401 million shares today. That is a decrease of 12 and a quarter of a percent. And from the previous year to the current year, this is another buyback of a little bit more than four and a half percent. So the fact that this has been very consistent, not a single time that they you know issue guys i'm gonna give this a 100 this is looking absolutely incredible and now into the assets minus the liabilities this one is by far the worst one you can see by this graph consistently increasing from five to four to three to two years ago and then one year ago it came crashing down going from 55.7 to 45.8 definitely something to note when we take a look at these earnings report nonetheless though you can see that it's still the fact that this is you know this close to today i have to ding it a whole lot because it was a pretty big drop guys that's a drop of 10 billion dollars so yeah it's unfortunate average sale assets it is 488.5 billion dollars average liabilities is 440 billion dollars doing this difference we get 49.75 billion dollars guys i'm going to give this a 40 percent this is by far the worst one but you know what at least there's not in the, in the negatives just yet Taking a look now at the overall grades, we gave the net income an 80%, revenue 80%, shares of standing 100%, assets minus liabilities 40%, overall grade of 79 Biggest problem here, guys, is this assets minus the liabilities. They brought it down a significant amount. That's why I dinged it so hard. But you can see everything else is looking, it's looking above average, in my personal opinion. So with that said, guys, let's take a look now at the valuations. Taking a look now at the book value per share, guys. We can see here that as of today, this should be worth $99.82. This is up 4% from the past five years. And on top of that, take a look at this. In 2021, this thing, the book value per share was at $120.68. Very, very interesting because, well, if you guys remember that current share price, we are, well, if this was still two years ago, this company would have been within very very close range to fair value however now it's come down a little bit and it's not looking too good at least when it comes to the fair value part of it and looking now at the tangible book value we can see that currently it should be worth 72 dollars and 42 cents this is down four percent from the past five years again their peak was three and two years ago 97 dollars and 31 cents three years ago 94 dollars and 69 cents two years ago but as of today 72 dollars and 42 cents and of course, if we take a look at the price divided by the current book value, we can see that based off of the current book value, the ratio it is 1.23. Remember that at one, this is at value. Under one, it is undervalued. And above one, it is overvalued. So from the book value, this is looking overpriced but it's not too much overpriced the tangible book value one is the one that is looking a little bit overpriced at 1.69 again the current share price it is 122 dollars and 31 cents but then again guys this is near 52 week lows so yeah it really i don't know this might be one that you might want to pull the trigger on of course it is not financial advice like i say in every single video every investment is the present value of all future cash flow so please have all of these calculators guys even though this one doesn't take any assumptions have it see what grade you give it see the fundamentals and not just with this company but with all companies that you uh you know analyze i have the, the discount of free cash flow work, which works for i would say most of the companies out there book value slash insurance evaluation calculators so for companies like banks utilities insurances and of course a reevaluation calculator for REIT companies and on top of that i also gave everybody a dividend tracking sheet as well so i have all of this for free guys all we're asking for in return for your support for the channel is just like subscribe comment it really does help with the algorithm on youtube and of course on rumble as well like subscribe comment it really does help and make sure to stop by tomorrow at 6 p.m for the live stream that we're going to have where we're going to cover and give our opinion on cpi and of course taking a look at the dividend we can see that with a almost five percent yield guys putting in five thousand seven hundred and twenty five dollars this nets you two hundred and eighty dollars and eighty six cents in annual dividends this is looking really really solid of a dividend payment not going to lie like that's actually really really good anything above like 235 is really really good in my personal opinion for a dividend payment and again the fundamentals aren't looking too bad either and of course taking a look at the options chains we can see that when it comes to expiration there is weekly expiration so okay this bank is very very liquid looking now at the put side there's a lot of premiums guys oh my god especially for april 14th this is insane like take a look at this going all the way down to well going all the way down to i would say 116 dollars you would get 
a premium of $75. That's not too shabby in my personal opinion. And then on top of that, if we take a look at the calls, these calls are absolutely insane because, well, if you bought this thing at anything under 123 strike, guys, you will get paid not only $260 in premium, but if it does execute, you're going to get that difference. Now, you know, if you would have bought it at like 119, it's only $4 uh, difference times 100, right? So that's not really a lot, but let's actually go into, let's just say May 5th. And if we see, uh, let, let, let's just go for like, I don't know, like 130 strike. That's $180 premium guys. Plus the, the difference of, let's say, you know, $10, that's $10 times hundred. That's really, really good. That's a $10 difference, $10,000 capital gain. And on top of that, you get $180 premium. Not too shabby in my personal opinion. All in all, when it comes to PNC, this is now the second time I've done this and it surprised me the first time and it surprised me again. But remember, please be very, very careful because we have been seeing cracks right now in the banks, specifically when it comes to their collateral and treasury bonds that they bought. So please be careful when it comes to this. We don't see any abnormalities, at least from what we could see here from, from the fundamentals, but definitely do your own due diligence because again, this is not financial advice. And SVB went down, for all you know, regional banks could go down too. That pretty much does it for this video. Like if you like, comment, subscribe, it really does help with the algorithm on YouTube. You guys can follow us on the new tech sites. Link is in the description below. So with that said, peace out and we'll see you all in the next stock analysis video as well as the live stream tomorrow.